Hey, welcome back everyone. So I thought it would be interesting to check out what are the top wishlisted indie games on Steam right now. So I think I might filter these by indie because I don't really want to see too much of that AAA stuff at the moment. Hollow Knight Sil Silk Song number one. It's interesting, at this point they are so rich from the previous Hollow Knight games that you kind of wonder if you can still call it that kind of indie. But yeah, I guess on a technicality, it still is an indie game. Party Animals, the second most wishlisted indie game at the moment. Kind of has that Fall Guys aesthetic. I've seen a few games that look a bit like this. Hades 2, yeah. I mean, that's something to look forward to, right? Hades was such a popular game. Unrecord number five. You guys probably uh, have seen this, I made a video about this as well, and it's been covered ad nauseum by pretty much every major uh, YouTuber. And from what I understand, um, they have like over 600,000 wish lists. That kind of indicates to you how many these have above it. And you know, <laughs> right underneath there, we have Carlson <laughs> from, you know, YouTuber Danny, who's gone um, AWOL. Everyone's like, where's Danny? But clearly he's just gone into hiding to work on the game. Because that's the thing, when you are a YouTuber and you're making games, it gets to a point where the YouTube stuff starts to get in the way. And if I disappear for an extended period of time, it's probably because I'm doing the same. Go Danny. Anger foot. This looks interesting. Devolver. Hell yeah. Man, anything Devolver, you know, they have a reputation. It's good stuff. Euro Truck Simulator, Heart of Russia. Then we have another one down here, Euro Truck Simulator West, West Balkans. I mean, in my opinion, that's kind of like not really indie. Kingdom 80s. Oh, wow. So there's like a new version of that Kingdom, very popular Kingdom game. Based in the 80s, of course. Wow, look at that, yeah. They're kind of known for doing this reflection effect in their games. It's kind of like a signature of their games. So it's, it's kind of important for them to, to stick with that, for that recognition aspect. Taxi Simulator. I'm a big fan of the old Taxi Driver games, the arcade, the arcade cabinets. Look at this guy, like a filthy cab driver drinking in his car. Super Zoo Story. Pretty much looks like Stardew Valley. And it just goes to show that no genre is ever really exhausted. I mean, this more or less looks like it was made by Eric Barone. Gravity Circuit. It's a Mega Man clone with uh, a few extra abilities. That's pretty cool. Plastic Love. What the hell? Run Your Own Brothel. Oh my god. Satisfy Clients. Secret Fantasies. Well, alright. <laughs> this... <laughs> I think the target audience is gentlemen that look like this uh, guy here. Skulled against the Black Priory. This sounds very familiar. If you grew up in the 80s and 90s, this um, aesthetic will be very familiar to you. A lot of Sierra games and um, Ultima games had this kind of vibe to them. So keep in mind, these are games that are yet to come out. This whole list is games that will be coming out. So there's a lot of games coming out. <laughs> yes, another fantasy title. I don't know if I like when people break this fourth wall in their titles, like not another RPG or, you know, yes, another platformer game. It's very meta, but... Very pretty. Great lighting. Look at that. These environments are fantastic. <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> is this a thing? Power and sin. What is this game? Oh man, the Uncanny Valley. The game inspired by true events. Is this like a satire or? I am the law, justice, and order. Is this like based on true events? 
Yeah, to some degree, right? Like the Vatican Church, you know, a lot of lot of dark history there. Gecko gods. So visually, this looks quite interesting. Love that cell shading and that ambient occlusion. Very impactful visually. Ah, farewell north. This guy, Kyle. Kyle Banks, yeah. I've been following this game for a while. He came onto my uh, Discord some years back, kind of showing some earlier ver versions of the game. And I remember thinking, man, this is looking really good. Very much in line with that kind of journey style of game. So 2023 release date, man, good luck, Kyle. Earthblade. So this is from the creators of Celeste. Oh, wow, okay. So it looks like they've gone for a more traditional side-scrolling action platformer over that puzzle room style of Celeste. That's cool, I think I'd prefer this more. I was probably the only person that didn't really get into Celeste. Human Farm. So based on the George Orwell novel Animal Farm in Abattoir for Humans. So you're killing people and then chopping them up and eating them. I gotta say that's pretty sick. Amy or Ami? Best art. Yeah, I mean that's the first thing that caught my attention is the art. I mean look at that, it's beautiful. Look at the depth. Kind of has that um, limbo feel to it, just in terms of the, the scale. Pope Simulator. Didn't we already see this? It's like another Pope Simulator in the top wish list of the games. Maybe that's the new genre that's going to be um, really breaking through. Pope Simulators. Wow, that looks cool. Pretty much Metroid, right? Just with a really crisp, fluid, high frame rate gameplay. Dirty Cop Simulator. <laughs> now that might be the only <laughs> simulator game I'll be interested in playing. But the salary wasn't enough to pay the bills. <laughs> as long as I have a good story, this could be really fun. Oh wow, okay. I am Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> I remember seeing this on Reddit. He is the Messiah, the Lord. I mean, I what's the game here though? Like you just. Come. Doing miracles. No There's a big target audience. That's for sure. Man, there is a game about absolutely everything. When you have like a highly saturated market, people just start coming up with the most creative, outrageous ideas. Hey, no way! No fucking way! I was not expecting to find my own game on this list. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm pretty happy about that. Dude, that's cool. Well, I might as well treat you guys to a bit of, uh, bit of the trailer. Now that's the game. Woo! Yeah, yeah, chuck that on your wish list right there. Man, how about that, huh? So that's interesting because it kind of gives me some indication of what it takes to be on this list. How many more games are on this list? Okay, so it doesn't go on forever. There is a there is a hard cutoff. So you have to be in the five digits, basically. Snacko. So Armor Games published this. Cool, I love Armor Games. I'm a big fan of this cutout aesthetic. Very Octopath Traveler. Looks fantastic. ASMR food experience, but of course. Whoa, how about the physics on that fillet? Yeah, very sensual. I mean, what's the game though? So do we listen to people's mouth sounds? Knock, knock. <laughs> Beats. Beats who? Beats the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Knock, knock, who's there? Beats. Beats the shit out of you. Hell yeah. First they double cross you. Then they lock 
you up. Lost Viking, Kingdom of Women. It um, has a, that Sinti look to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I can see a few Sinti assets. Those Sinti asset packs, as nice as they are, the way they flooded the market, you know, a lot of games just have that Sinti asset pack look. Savior, I remember this being quite popular on Twitter. It's kind of known for this really dynamic combat. Yeah, you see that sliding between people's legs and stuff. Yeah, look at that combat, so precise. Very interesting, not many games have really done that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It kind of gives you an idea of what people are interested in at the moment and what kind of trends are emerging. A lot of these simulator games, that's for sure. Start making your Pope simulator if you want to get on this list. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.